the tour provided a lot of fun uh, and a lot of opportunities to, to see a bit of the country uh, and to do something which was uh, required at, at, at that time. Uh, it ended up in uh, the night before the finish of the tour, we were in Ballarat, uh, where I was challenged by Eddie Hudson, uh, the pilot of the link, uh, to a race back to Melbourne. Uh, so having that notice, I inquired of the navigator if he could provide me with a course direct to Melbourne and an estimated time of arrival in Melbourne and an elapsed time required uh, based on using uh, climbing power all the way from Ballarat to Melbourne so that we could uh, in some ways keep up or even defeat the Lancaster. Having arrived at the aerodrome, only to hear the Lancaster engines already starting, we were a bit behind. So we raced around the aircraft, kicked the tyres, climbed in, started the motors and taxied off after the Lancaster. We didn't climb, we just took off and kept flying. And 17 minutes was the time elapsed that the navigator gave me. And so I watched my watch and at 16 minutes I could see the wooden tower which was placed there to hold up the early radar aerials at Essendon Aerodrome. Back on the stick, up to a thousand feet quick and lively, all too much for the engines and the starboard engine failed. We finished our circuit on one engine, turned around over the reservoir, down beside the reservoir and taxied down to join the Lancaster, already parked but its prop still spinning on the end of the aerodrome. Around the Lancaster were a group of people uh, which happened to include my, members of my family uh, who were there, having been advised of the intent the night before. My father had observed, before we arrived beside the Lancaster, members of the Lancaster crew very seriously taking hold of a stretcher, taking the stretcher back into the aircraft and then appearing at the door with the stretcher covered in a blanket and departing from the aircraft. My father asked me what was the problem. I said, no problem. They were just removing the beer for the party tonight. And at Tamora, uh, we were invited after the public address, wherever it was, uh, to return to the home of the manager and his wife of the Commonwealth Bank in Tamora, and they were the agents for the collection of funds for the bonds in that town. And so both crews turned up at their home and there we were entertained for the evening. And they had their family with them. And uh, I don't think I'm telling much out of school, but uh, the, the mother of the children was a little bit concerned that one of the girls was paying a little bit too much attention <laughs> to one of the, the newly arrived pilots. You know? uh, and uh, her attention was uh, drawn away from her daughter only to uh, offer rather suggestive glares to the poor pilot who was innocent. <laughs> but then again, that was the wall owned to her. <laughs> It took all sorts of things to make us laugh. Was that part of you or the other bloke? <laughs> no comment. <laughs>